While these days systems capable of playing NES games are ten a penny this wasn't always the case. Back in the mid-1990s a Taiwanese company, called Redent, sought to cash in on the popularity of the NES and released the game Axe. Initially launched in 1995 the FC812 had a 3 inch LCD screen and could be hooked up to a TV to be used as a console. This model was replaced by the FC816 and this model the FC868 or Super Game Axe in 1997. These later models boast a 4 inch LCD screen. I picked mine up in the late 1990s and found it today in my loft while having a sort out. It still works. The screen is as you'd expect from this era, slightly blurry prone to ghosting and power-hungry. Round the back of the console is space for the 6A batteries, although you can power it by a 9V supply such as the Mega Drive power supply, plus room for a kickstand. The top has the power switch, power in and cartridge slot. The machine plays Famicom carts but also comes with a 60-pin to 72-pin converter to allow NES games. Back in the day every cartridge I tried, whether NTSC or PAL, worked fine. Although it is a precarious connection with the physically larger cartridges plus the converter. There is also a Navy out using the same plug as the Mega Drive 2 allowing connection to a TV. The front has an excellent D-pad and four face buttons. These are the A and B buttons and then auto fire versions of each. There is also start and select buttons. The other buttons allow the system to be reset or the LCD screen to be turned off, useful if you want to play connected to the TV. The bottom of the system has dials for adjusting speaker volume and screen brightness as well as an earphone jack. The sides have an AV in port just in case you want to hook up an external video source to the screen and also one and two player controller ports allowing the system to be used as a home console. Remind anyone of the switch? The system is very well made and the D-pad and buttons are surprisingly good. It is shown here with the Game Gear as a size comparison. I demo a multi-game cartridge to show the system in both portable mode and hooked up to a TV. Enjoy.